Jail himself went on for a week on the Darren Big Lake on Darren's fishing complex. A place a wholesome, real special car, hoping to take one of the big girls out. So there's 50 30s in here, 40 40s, maybe a couple of 50s, and what a beautiful day. We're all on the lake, we've all got our uh, pegs. I drew fifth out of six. I do terrible in peg draws. I've got the road bank up on Darren Big Lake. I'm fishing the big road swim. As you can see out in front of me, I've got a lot of water. I'm basically fishing open water. I have got snags down to my right, about 120 yards. And I've got the pads down to my left. Um, I'm just gonna keep putting a little bit of bait in, walking back and forth, keep checking on that. But for the moment, I'm just gonna fire out probably 20, 30 nut crunch, uh, 20 wraps, well, 18 wraps in 12 and a half foot of water. There's a bowl in front of me. Either side of the bowl goes up to about 10 foot. I can't find 14 foot, I've had a real good cast around. I've got 12 and a half foot, but I'll do two and a half foot deeper than all the rest. So, um, get some beat out. That's the bait out. I ain't got no rod set up or anything at the moment. I only got the rods uh, out of the bags, out of the sleeves to be honest. What I've done is just took a marker rod out, had a feel around, had a good 20 30 cast, cast over where I've been told there's a hole, had a good feel about. I know there's a couple of spots in there, about nine, nine and a half wraps, so I'm just going to leave the marker out for a few hours, carry on setting up, and then have a look. Uh, let's turn around and have a look at the lake a minute. No, can't really see it from there. But yeah, I've got a lot of open water. That island there is probably, I don't know, 190 yards. Roughly. So, let's see how we get on. The nut crunch and the current test bait, ground and chopped up, added with the generous helping of the nut crunch plug, which had a great chance to produce an awesome fish. Day three, I ended up moving yesterday from over there in Big Road. I felt like I was getting a little bit calf. It's a shame, a lot of wall right in front. So I ended up moving over into pads so I could use my mate's bait book because somehow I managed to lose mine. So. Finished over the last couple of days, I'm not gonna lie. But now I've got one down here on this far margin and this tree around here. There's a coop's nest in there over there. I've got one just down here somewhere around about here in the overhang. And I've got one one out here in open water. About 14 wraps, nice travel bar. Let's see what tonight brings. Getting that crunch water on the one, everything's all set up ready. Ducks here, yeah. they want a bit of nut crunch, but a little bit of pellet in there, cough boily, whole boily, yeah. What, you want some of that, do you? Okay, do you? While the tree's biting, came across this beautiful stream that run at the back of his peg. Small dice, chub and perch present. It was really nice to see a small stream thriving with such young fish.
unfortunately, Rich still didn't have anything on the van, so he decided to go and have another look around the lake, and he came across five large car, tucked up in the snags. So a change of peg was definitely on the cards. He couldn't cast a bait close enough, so loaded the bait boat up and set the traps, not just producing one, but two at the same time. Stays in my third swim. As I was playing this beauty, just landed him. My right rod went off. This was 28 pound on that bridge. Got the mirror. Thank you. And then 27 pound for was the last of the action for Rich. It was a hard week, but that old saying of more effort equals greater rewards, and it definitely proves it when it comes to fishing. Don't forget to click and subscribe to our YouTube channel and to visit us on our Facebook and Instagram page.